Forwarding the Evolution of Sustainability, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 163. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 163, May 8th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the second 25% of the written content for the Courage lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of courage is now 50% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the third 25% of the written part of the courage lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the summer lesson plan, bringing it to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week on Highest Good Food, the core team continued working on the renders for the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earth Egg Village Pod 1. Here you can see the finished initial render looking northwest. The next step here is Photoshop colors and additions. As part of the development of our Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, which features contributions from naturopathic doctor Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, this week we began laying out the preliminary outline for our nutrition-based buffet-style meals. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also created these individual planting plan maps for the Tropical Atrium Planting and Harvesting page. Then Shadi added all the plant details to the core team's render, and now it shows the tropical atrium flourishing with fruit trees, flowers, and other plants from the tropical atrium planting and harvesting plan. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on continued insertion of backfill steps and steps for raising the poly instruction that are part of Section 10, Instruction of Stem Walls and Dome. We also completed further edits of Section 13, Subterranean Exterior Ground Finish of Polyethylene Water Barrier and EPS Insulation. We additionally moved all new green step headings into the Section 10 dock and inserted newly written narratives. We'd say we are now 80% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 18 of this work that is now focused on what you see here, creating quality render trees like those native to the area we intend to build in. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, also continued working on creating professional do-it-yourself Earth Bay Village Murphy Bed Furniture assembly instructions. What you see here are week two of his process of double-checking all of our pieces and creating SolidWorks versions of them 
from the SketchUp pieces we already have. Shilsey Augustine, architect, continued developing the Compressed Earth Village Pod 4 massage and treatment room spaces. You can see this work here where her focus is now on the external spaces. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, working on the city center, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, finalized his work on the updated render scenes for the rental rooms. He also did this for the loft in the social dome and the dining area by the kitchen. Also, these four new images of the room and what will be the do-it-yourself palette furniture. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tasui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, were joined by Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, and Neha Verma, construction project manager. The discussion this week was about how Dipti's work with lighting and minimum and optimal lumens will integrate with the control systems. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team completed updating all the icons for the highest good food sections of the website. What you see here is a collage of some of these icons on a few of the updated pages. With the help of Oz Zersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, we also added a how to maintain it section to both our open source and copyrights page and our open source and trademarks page. Jonathan De Ascendis, graphic designer and web developer, additionally continued development of our highest good network logo as shown here. This week's changes were finalizing the center tree details. One community is about forwarding the evolution of sustainability. We want to facilitate the evolution of sustainability to accelerate the evolution of sustainability. And the way that we're doing this is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainability. We call this highest good living and creating, and it is an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines this with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good education, highest good economics, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability, but also as a living teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that can be built anywhere in the world. All the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions are designed to be implemented as either individual components, so that somebody could just take a food component or a housing component and build that for themselves, or as the complete teacher demonstration hub. And these hubs are designed to demonstrate sustainability as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that the hubs will spread on their own. And each hub is purpose to invite people to come and visit, experience what it is that open source sustainability and true highest good living looks like and if people like it if they like any component to be able to take that and replicate it or adapt it or modify it because everything is done open source our idea is if we bring the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all together the people that believe that a world that truly works for everybody is possible and that we are the people to create it that the technology already exists to do this and it just takes a level of participation to reach that tipping point where we can transform the planet for everybody. We're bringing together people that believe that that's possible and want to be a part of that and we're building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism to create a world that truly works for everybody. And you're invited to participate. You're invited to join us. We are a 100% volunteer unpaid staff. And so if you'd like to get involved, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, we've got lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer members that will move to one community and build everything that is one community, to the volunteers working behind the scenes, donating their time, and helping to design, working with the core team in that way. And of course, the easiest way to help us out is just to share information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make this as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest. We are on Twitter. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Sue. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Facebook, of course, and about 15 other social media 
outlets to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information, to get the information in as many hands as possible so as many people can benefit as possible and so the idea can continue to spread. This is how we're forming the evolution of sustainability through open source tools, tutorials, and resources that create sustainable communities and a whole bunch of sustainable components that make up those communities so people can replicate and use and modify and adapt and evolve whatever serves them best. And the complete model is designed to be self-replicating because we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough. It's that simple. This is what we're doing. This is what we're building our team. So get involved if it sounds interesting to you. Of course, we're still seeking large-scale funding. It's not our primary focus right now, but if you or somebody you know has access to the resources to help us get the property off the market, that would be a huge step in the right direction. It would allow us to evolve and grow our team exponentially faster. It would allow us to evolve and grow our open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources exponentially faster. And so we're, we're always looking for that, but our main focus right now is on the design and the creation process so that we're shovel ready to be able to build when we do get that funding. Forwarding the evolution of sustainability, if it's made easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, will happen on its own. And ultimately, we see that creating a sustainable civilization that benefits all life on this planet. This is what we're doing. So I like to say every week, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the likes, the shares. Thank you for the small donations, the $5 donations, $10 donations. We're an all-volunteer staff. None of us are paid. So those donations help cover the expenses of one community, the running our website, and things like that. So that's very helpful. Of course, thanks for sharing our blog. Thanks for liking our blog, these video blogs and things like that. Thanks for subscribing to our YouTube channel. And, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you again.